All right, guys. Hello, 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 boys and girls. You might be wondering what in the world that is not the best seat. That is definitely not the best seat. I don't know what I was thinking. We're going to live with it, though. <laughs> Just before we get started here, I want to thank Meta for paying for my flights, essentially. A bit of compensation to get here to Menlo Park on Meta's campus at One Hacker Way. It's like a little city here, like a little Disney World, honestly. I really could use my Wayfarers right now. The sun is bearing down pretty high. Yeah, don't stare in the sun, kids. That's, uh, that's dangerous for you. So here we are on Meta's campus. Um, you might be asking me the straight up question, which is, hey Zim, did you get to try Quest 3? The third one, the, the, with the S, the super small, the small, ver I don't know what the S stands for. Three S, but yes, I tried it. I got to try it. Feels like a Quest 2 on the face. Honestly, the straight up answer of, is that worth $300 for a headset? Yeah, it feels like a, honestly with the pass through and everything, it feels, like a uh, Quest 3, but with the Fresnel lenses. It's kind of what we expected. It's a Fresnel lens combo headset and pretty straightforward. So when, uh, when I put it on, I was like, oh, same strap, Quest 2 lenses. The front end is fine. You know, it's got cameras. Pass-through's nice. It's a solid, solid pass-through. It's just like, it's very, very similar to and that's his first impressions, so I can only give you that, but very, very similar to Quest 3. So for a much reduced price, with the horsepower under the hood of a Quest 3, without the pancake lenses, which actually are a bit of a detriment because of the cost of them, you've got a really nice headset for a cheap price. So I think these are gonna fly off the shelves, honestly. They're, uh, they're really straightforward. I didn't notice any particularly standout feature. One thing that did catch me though, now recognize I am using a Quest 3S that has been in use all day. It's been used for demos. I got in, had about, I'll say 20 minutes with it. We were doing a bunch of different things. I'll talk about those in a second, but the Quest 3S, the demo that I had, the faceplate, the surrounding faceplate that looks like Serendipi serendipitously, a big O logo, like from a predecessor company, like a racetrack or a stadium. Um, it's pumping out with active cooling inside the Quest 3S. It's pumping out heat. And actually it was quite hot. I wouldn't call it uncomfortable to the touch, but I would call it quite hot. So one of the things that you're gonna go ahead and um, find when you put this thing on is it feels like a Quest 2 or a Quest 3. It's like, it's just such a cousin. The series of accessories they've got for it are pretty damn cute because they've got like small form factor bits. They've got little small cases. They've got a small charging dock. So what they've addressed is, oh shite, our products are too expensive. So let's cut it down and make it accessible. And that's what this headset's all about. It's an accessible headset and it's actually got those pieces. So I think, it's one to like look out for, definitely. So the other thing that I was gonna say is, if you've got, if you've got a budget to meet, then 300 bucks, 400 bucks gets you into the Quest 3 ecosystem. Quest 3S gives you the bottom two tranches, but then Quest 3, the original one, they're killing off one of the SKUs and they're reducing the price of the 512 gigabyte down to $500, which is a good deal if you want that upper end experience. Now, I suppose I would ask myself the question of, if you really, really want to go into it, why would you? I mean, a Quest 3 and a Quest 3S are nearly indistinguishable for the price. Is it worth the $200 more? I would almost argue, not for many people, not that I can tell, not with these first impressions of the device. So I would actually steer you to say, look, if you haven't bought one yet, just put your money towards the Quest 3 and some accessories. Uh, the charging dock seems pretty decent, short, small. There's actually one way, if you like the soft strap, then you've actually got the soft strap that can fit it into a teeny tiny case. It's like a comfortable little carrying case. That's actually pretty nice in that respect. But the other things I wanna talk about are two other things that we had a chance to do today, which was quite fun. So the first one was, uh, just behind me, there was a Ray-Ban Meta building. It's a temporary pop-up building. There is gonna be a permanent one built, but this temporary pop-up building 
actually gave us an experience where we could go through and understand new features that are coming. It's just pretty rad new features. I'll talk about them, but just to summarize, um, there's an extension to the software. There's an extension to the line of colorways that are available. Nothing earth shattering, but I think the thing that, that was really neat, and this is kind of a one-time thing, this is not one for any of you at home per se, is that we had the ability to laser engrave our uh, Meta Wayfarer uh, leather case. So you can give them a logo or a design, uh, a letter of the alphabet or something like that. And you would end up with a little z -z 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 on the on the design. I went for a big Z just uh, for Zim Talk and um, was very happy with the output. So that's really cool. That's like a commemorative memorabilia that I can take away, take home. So um, yeah, being here in Cal Hey, where did I park? Uh, you can say, hey, I want to buy this book later. Remind me in two hours to buy this book. I can do that for you. Great. Very good. And I think that's probably it. But like, largely, my impressions of the day are really simple. Quest 3S, great price. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is um, tomorrow, we get to see what Mark Zuckerberg has to reveal on stage at the Meta Kino. Now, this video will be going live around that time. And you'll actually be being able to see uh, kind of, I suppose, live tweet reactions as to the, that news. But this video itself, we're kind of dicing it up and then putting it live right after the keynote. So at this stage, you'll know what he's got to say, but I don't right now. So with that, I think we're going to move on to the next piece, which was Meta AI. They put me in a tiger onesie, and I will never forgive them. I mean, look at this thing. It's hideous. This other one, this Bear Grylls thing, isn't much better. But all this to say that now you can set alarms, you can actually have Meta AI remind you where your car was parked. Use the Wayfair glasses and say, hey, remember where my car is parked. Hey, where did I park? Uh, you can say, hey, I wanna buy this book later. Remind me in two hours to buy this book. I can do that for you. Great, very good. Well, that was him from day zero at MetaConnect. On to day one. We'll see you soon.